What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC Double Battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing an absolute banger of a team that features Life Orb Rhyperior and Trick Room Bronzong. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, come on, yo. Scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, and join the community. I was looking at my analytics, and about 60% of my viewers, that is over half, are not subscribed to the channel. So if that's you, get on that. Get on that right now. But seriously, shout out to all my subscribers. You guys are the real ones. You guys are the real ones. But before we get into today's team preview, it is the new year. It is 2022. So happy new year, everybody. Hopefully, you guys did have a great holiday. Hopefully, you guys set some goals for 2022. And hopefully, you guys are going to be crushing them this year. No more holding back. No more making excuses. Let's get on our goals for 2022. But let's get started here with the team preview. We got the one and only right here. And this Pokemon has been highly requested for me to use across my channel. Considering, in my opinion, it is the king of Trick Room. This thing gets in Trick Room. It is just an absolute beast. You can sweep teams left and right. We gave this thing a Life Orb as an item. The nature for this Pokemon is going to be brave to give it that, uh, what is it, attack boost and speed decrease. Really, really good for a Trick Room user right here. EV's first Pokemon is going to be HP and attack because we just want this thing as bulky as possible and to hit as hard as it possibly can lightning rod for its ability and then this wonderful move set of rock slide drill run both for stab protect and fire fang for our coverage move second pokemon on the squad is going to be our trick room user and that is going to be bronzong one of the best trick room users in this format it's got trick room it's got gyro ball it has hypnosis put pokemon to sleep and protect for its last move EV's first Pokemon is going to be HP and defense. We just want this thing as bulky as possible just to set up Trick Room because when you get Bronzong in, if you do not get off Trick Room, you pretty much lose the match. You want to get off Trick Room as frequently as you can when you're using Bronzong. So we got Levitate as its ability, and then we made this thing super bulky, like I just said. Nature for this Pokemon is going to be relaxed, and then the item that it is holding is Mental Herb, so we can't be taunted, almost guaranteeing Trick Room to pop off whenever we want to use it. Third Pokemon on this team is going to be a follow me user. You definitely need a follow me user when rocking out with Trick Room. It is just super, super well in, in certain situations and great to have it in that back end. And especially Tokus because, you know, Tokus is one of the best Pokemon in this game. Scope lens as item, timid nature. EVs are going to be HP and speed with a tad bit in special attack. Super luck as its ability. And then moveset is going to be air slash, follow me, dazzle gleam, and protect. Cannot go wrong with this Pokemon. Cannot go wrong with that moveset. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Arcanine. If you guys have been watching my BDSP content, you guys know I've been rocking out with this Arcanine build for a while now. It's just super, super good at controlling the battle. It can get special attack drops. It can get physical attack drops with Intimidates and Burns. It's just really good. It's just great all around. Flamethrower, Snarl, Will-O-Wisp, and Protect Force moveset. EVs are going to be maxed out in HP and then split between Special Defense and Speed. Intimidate as its ability. And then we got Timid Nature alongside with the Guav Berry for its item. Fifth Pokemon on the team is going to be Kingdra. Not just any Kingdra, Swift Swim Kingdra. Works super, super well all around and great for when we don't want to go into Trick Room. We can just go into the Rain Squad, get that rolling, and try to get our win another way. But Mystic Water as this thing's item, typically you want to go Life Orb with Kingdras, but since we're showcasing Rhyperior, I'd rather give him that Life Orb. So we gave this thing Mystic Water, gave Rhyperior the Life Orb, and we went on from there. Modest as this thing's nature, EVs are going to be special attack and speed alongside with that Swift Swim ability and then moveset of Hydro Pump, Draco Meteor, Ice Beam, and Protect. Look at those moves, dude. Those moves are just made to hit like a truck. Cannot wait to show up Kingdra and get this Pokemon in, in the rain. Last Pokemon on the squad is going to be our Rain Setter, and that is going to be the one and only frog Pokemon, Politoed over here. We got Scald, we got Protect, we got Ice Beam and Encore for its moveset. Eevee's first Pokemon is HP and Defense and Special Defense, just trying to make this thing bulky. Drizzle has its ability so it can set rain once it hops into battle. Gave this thing the sassy nature, and then last but not least, its item is going to be that Citrus Berry. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself or just check it out, we got the Pokebase down in the description below. You got all the EVs, all the moves, everything you need to know about this team. But without further ado, let's hop onto that ladder, look to get some wins with this Rhyperior Trick Room team. I almost forgot, ladies and gentlemen, we need our magic card. We need our magic carp. Let's lock in our team here for battle number one. Got the carp on the lap. A little bit of carp luck coming in here. And we're going up against a pretty cool team here. He's got Tyrantar. He's got Zapdos. Pachirisu for Nuzzles. Follow me. All that good stuff. Then he has Gyarados, Garchomp, and Gardevoir. Okay. Bronzong is an absolute must to go into here. I think we just protect Rhyperior and potentially Trick Room. Right? Go Bronzong, Rhyperior, get that Trick Room off and just roll off from there. I'm kind of digging this combo. I'm kind of digging it. We're going to bring our Intimidate Arcanine in the back end because it works wonders. And then Togekiss for our last Pokemon. I kind of like Togekiss, but Kingdra's not bad here as well. Kingdra is not bad here, but I really don't want to bring Kingdra if we, uh, if we what's called. 
if we do not have our Politoed in there. So I'm with this squad all day. Hopefully we can just pop a Trick Room turn one and kind of just dominate the battles. Because like I said, yo, if we get off Trick Room, Rhyperior can thrive and do so much work. He goes Zapdos alongside with Gyarados, which I'm cool with. I'm definitely cool with this. I'm definitely cool with this. We protect the Rhyperior and we just pop a Trick Room. Intimidate is going to affect us a little bit, but I still think we should be fine. Because he has two Pokemon that are super effective to rock. So if Trick Room's out, it's we're going to do some work. We're going to do some work. So I'm just going to Trick Room here alongside with protecting him. Because I feel like he, they're going to target him down. They got to target my boy down. Like, yo, he poses a threat. Let me hit him with a water move. Let me do something to him. So let me just put this block up. See if we can block and just get off that trick room. And then have speed all day. And we can have speed all day, which is just lovely. Which is just lovely. Let's see what he does, yo. Bronzong's showing here, yo. Bronzong is an absolute unit. He can soak up some shots. I'm digging this. He might have taunt with Gyarados, but yo, we have that mental herb. That mental herb is there for that exact reason. For taunts. So... I'm kind of hoping he actually goes into a taunt and wastes a turn because that's really what it's there for. It is there for them to waste a turn. He's going to witch all the Gyarados here. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. He witch all Gyarados and he's going to go into Garchomp. He's going to go into Chomsky, which I'm totally cool with. I'm totally cool with him going into Chomsky. We are going to protect our Ripe here. And let's see what this bird goes into. And Bird's just going to go straight. Oh my god, yo, we have Lightning Rod. We have Lightning Rod. And we protected that. We could have got a nice little boost. Well, it wouldn't have done anything because it's a special attacking boost. But it's all good. We're going to pop this trick room. And we're going to get rolling. We have speed. We get an Aphrodis. I could try to land Hypnosis, which could do good work for us. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to Hypnosis on you. I'm just going to go for his Rock Side. Look for flinches. Try to get a suit off some super effective damage onto the Zapdos. But we got to hope this Hypnosis uh, lands. It's 60% accuracy. And I have faith in it. I have faith. 60%. Just like uh, my viewers who are not subscribed to the channel. He's going to swap probably back into Gyarados, right? That's what's going to happen. Yeah, Gyarados is going to come in here for the Intimidate. That's a little rough, man. He's going to minus two us already right off the rip. Yo, Intimidate's so good. It's so good. But still, if I get off this Rock Slide, I can still see it doing a decent amount of damage here. Hypnosis comes out here, and it connects, yo. Lovely. Lovely, yo. Night, night, Garchomp. Night, night. Now would be a good time to actually swap. We could swap. Into maybe like Togekiss or something. Rock Slide's going to come out here. Get off some... Oh my god, that's some big damage. We might just keep in the Gyarados or the Rhyperior right here. We might just keep in the right here and swap the bronze on. Actually, I kind of want to swap. I might protect the Gyarados. I could definitely see him protecting Gyarados. Wait, I mean, there's no way he stays in. There's no way he stays in. I'm just going to go for a Gyro Ball there. And I'm going to swap into... Could go Arcanine. Well, I'm feeling a bit more Togekiss here. I'm feeling a bit more Togekiss. I'm going to swap into Togekiss here. I'm going to swap a right here. He's minus two. We got to get him out of there. Even though Rockside could have did some big damage and finished off the Gyarados. I just see the Gyarados either protecting or something or withdrawing. Yep. There it is. Wonderful. And he's going to go into who? Pachirisu is going to come out here. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I can Air Slash. I have Dazzle and Gleam ready to rock. And Gyro Ball is going to hit up on this Garchomp. He's going to be slumped. He's going to be slumped. We're rough skin. That's a little rough. That's a little rough, yo. Garchomp is fast asleep. And what's Pachirisu going to go for? Maybe a follow me? Maybe a follow me? And I could swap you. He wants to go into an electric move. I'm going to bring out the lightning rod. I'm going to bring out the lightning rod. And I'm just going to go for a gleam here. Gleam is definitely a play. Gleam is definitely a play. We're going to get our Rhyperior back out here while we have a few trick room turns. And try to get off some big damage. First. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yo, Rhyperior coming out here. Yes, sir. He's going to withdraw the guard jump. That's fine with it. That's fine by me. And go into Zapdos, maybe? Yep, Zapdos is going to poke out here. And we're going to hit up this thing with a nice, lovely little Dazzling Gleam. Let's just go for Super Fang. That's fine. Into Tokus, half its health. I'm chilling with that. I'm chilling with that. Gleam's poking. Golly. Send that. And that's some great damage. That is some great damage. That's some lovely damage. Double crit for that super luck. And I think we have like maybe one more turn left in Trick Room. So let's just drop this Rock Slide and get going from there. Rock Slide Gleam. Could go for Follow Me, but I just don't think there's a there's a need for Follow Me here. There's no need for Follow Me. Let's just go into our moves. My peer outspeeds all these guys. Pachirisu Light Run Protect? I don't run Super Fang, Nuzzle, Follow Me, and I think Last Moves Protect. Patrick is a cool Pokemon. I definitely want to showcase it on the channel. Let's just see what he goes for. No protects come out here. Rock Slide's going to drop. Rock Slide's going to drop. And yo, Rhyperior doing some work. Rhyperior doing some work. Let's see what Pachirisu goes for. Maybe another Super Fang, if I had to guess. Right? Let's see. That's a berry, but maybe Gleam can still take out. Let's see how much health it goes up to. Mm, it's going to be cutting it close. Gleam, can you do him dirty? Get that crit for me. Pachirisu flinches. That's huge. And Gleam's going to poke out here. Give me the crit. Give me the crit. Yes, sir. Yo, Togekiss coming up with that kill. And show me we have one more turn left in Trick Room. Do we have one more turn left in Trick Room? We do not. Twist Dimensions, return to normal. And I might just go into a follow me and try to get off a big shot with uh with my Rhyperior here. Right? Garchomp's asleep. 
I could just go into a, uh, I could just go into a rock slide and dazzle beam. So I'm going to say Garchomp is probably asleep for another turn. What do I do? I think I just follow me the shot and go into a, a rock slide. Probably our play, right? Did he bring six? Did he bring six Pokemon? Yo, did this dude bring six Pokemon? I don't even check anymore. I just assume it's four. He brought six Pokemon. What you mean, dude? Get out of my face, dude. Get out of my face. Get out of here. Get out of my face. I don't like this one bit. He brought six. He brought six. I could go for a drill run, which could do work wonders. We go for a rock slide. I am going to go for a rock slide here. Rock slide into gleam. Probably our play. Could go for a follow me, but I think we're fine. I think we're fine here. Let's see how this one plays out. That's rough, dude. Dazzling Gleam's going to poke out here first. Can we take out the Gyarados at least? We do take out the Gyarados. That's huge. That is a huge KO there. Gyarados, get on out of my face, dude. I didn't even realize this dude brought six. I was just assuming the guard time's coming out here. I was just like, yo, he has four Pokemon. I was just assuming it. I gotta start checking it. Rock Slide's gonna poke. Can you eat that up, Togi? Tokus goes down here, but yo, my boy Rhyperior's gonna poke here. And hopefully, just hopefully that uh this uh Rhyperior doesn't flinch. He does not flinch. And we connect the Rock Slide, which is wonderful. How much damage are we doing? Yo, my boy chipping some damage. Getting some good old chip damage in. So he has a few Pokemon left, and good. This dude quit. Awesome. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord, because I wasn't dealing with losing this battle, because we were playing super well. Won a nice little 4v6, made our opponent quit in the first battle. Let's go back to back for today's video, hopping into our second battle. Hopefully this guy does not pick six Pokemon. Hopefully he doesn't pick six Pokemon. Hopefully he keeps it real, goes with the four, and who should I go into? I might go into the Rhyperion Bronze on combo again, or I could just go Kingdra and Politoed. I think Kingdra and Politoed can work really, really well here. He does have that, what's it called, which I'm kind of scared of. He does have that Belly Drum Azumarill. I'm a little scared of, but I think we should be fine going in with these two. So I'm going to go in with these two. He might think I'm leading the Bronze Song and go into Rotom Heat. So we might be fine with going in with them two and then just Arcanine Togekiss. Let's go in with the total opposite of not tricking the team. He doesn't have Tailwind or anything. And if we have Swift Swim, we can kind of get we get uh, going with a lot of these Pokemon. But I'm really digging this. I'm really digging this squad right here. So let's see if we can grab ourselves another win here. And then in the third and final battle, showcase Rhyme Period and Bronze Song yet again. He's gonna go clearly, and he leads the road time. Like I said, think, maybe thinking we're leading that uh, that what's it called? That lovely little bronze arm, but we're not. But we're not. He was probably predicting we're leading the bronze arm for trick room, and he just wanted to get off an overheat. So we're gonna be able to do that. I think we can just go into a straight ice beam here, into cradley, and then just go into a straight skull. I think road time might protect, but I think we're sitting great here with damage. Ice beam's gonna come through here. You know, Swift Swim doing some work. This should KO, right? No, with the sound. This thing's bulky. Give me a freeze. Give me a freeze. No freeze comes out here, and this thing's going to trick me. How dare you trick me? Probably tricking my Kingdra, right? If I had to guess. Every time I switch items with target, we got a Flame Orb. How dare you? How dare you take my Flame Orb? Storm. Oh my god, I totally forgot about Storm Drain Claytally. God dang, dude. Is this thing going for Meteor Beam now? Or Meteor Beam's not in this game, is it? Nope, Giga Drain's gonna poke here. Can we soak that? We can soak. That's scary, dude. That is very scary. So Storm Drain Claytally coming out here. Um, what do we do here? What's our play here? I mean, we're tricked. Uh, I do not like that one bit. That we are tricked. Could just keep dropping ice beams. Could just keep dropping ice beams. And flame orb's gonna do damage on those. That's a little rough. I wanna go into a hydro pump, but gotta get after his claytoly. Gotta get after his claytoly. Let's just double down on ice beam. Even though I think like a thunderbolt's gonna come in here. It's a great little storm drain Pokemon there. Great little storm drain there. We're gonna go into this. Get off some damage onto you. None of this is stab, but we're looking for maybe a freeze. And there it is, yo. There it is. Nice lovely freeze. Let's get after his Pokemon. He's gonna use a volt switching. We should be able to soak that up, right? Yes, all day, Politoed. Politoed just soaks up shots. Stitcher Spray is going to poke. We're going to be able to get off an Ice Beam here. And then Ice Beam again into that, uh, that clearly and take it out next turn with Kingdra. We're just going to swap back. We are, dude, we lost our Mystic Water, which is tough. Which is real tough. And I might want to swap my Kingdra in a little bit. Or maybe even Politoed. He's going to bring out Azumarill. And I'm really cool with that. So I'm just going to Encore that thing. Do I Encore that? What's my plan here? What's my plan here? I could just, you know, throw an Encore. Hmm, or I could swap. I could swap. Is he probably gonna, just going to play rough me, right? He's probably just going to play rough me, which is kind of scary. I'm, I'm not even going to lie. Joker Meteor has no effect on him. I cannot go into that. I could protect. Hmm. That player. We think an ice, I don't think an Ice Beam from there would KO. This is tough. This is tough news. Um, could swap into you. Because I am predicting the play rough, not a belly drum coming in. I mean, is he going to belly drum? 
Belly jump scary though. I do think the play rough's coming out here, so I'm gonna swap into Toad Kiss. And then more importantly, I'm just gonna go for this ice beam. Yeah, let's do that. No way he belly jumps. If he belly jumps that up, it's GG. I was gonna encore him, but we'll see what he does. We'll see his C's play. Maybe Politoed outspeeds him. I don't really know. Ice Beam's gonna poke out here with Politoed. And take him out. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Rough news, rough news. And this thing is going to go for that play rough. Okay, so good, good, good call by me. We are able to soak that up. And clearly still frozen solid. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. That is just wonderful. Because you know I can go into a dancing gleam now. And then I can just go into a water move. Or I could air slash. What's my plan here? Air slash kinda sounded good because we have the potential to get a flinch here. And then we could just go into this ice beam, but he might aqua jet me. He does not aqua jet. That's good. Air slash gonna poke. Give me the flinch though. Give me that flinch. No crit either. Ice beam coming in. That's whack. Ice beam's gonna be able to take out. It's a tough little battle here. This is a tough little battle here because we might want to swap our uh, poly to for this into Arcanine. Just so we can get rain off with the last turn. And he's gonna go play rough, but Togi dodging, yo. It's a huge dodge. That's a huge dodge from Togi Kiss. It's a huge dodge from Togi Kiss. Garchomp is gonna come out here. And what do we do? Just gleam? We, I mean, we just gotta gleam here, right? Gleam and maybe swap to our Arcanine. Get Intimidate off. I'm digging that because rain should end next turn. If not, we're just gonna protect. But I really want that Politoed out of this battle so we can swap back into our Kingdra and Politoed and get that rain combo going yet again. So we're gonna swap in here. Intimidate on two physical attackers. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. And Gleam's gonna poke here. And hopefully, we get a crit on the Chomp. We might protect Chomp. Let's see. Aqua Jet's gonna come through here. And can we soak that? We can, yo. I love you, Togi. Garchomp's gonna crunch, yo. Into you, that's fine, yo. We eat that up all day. And Dazzle Gleam's gonna poke. Can we take out Garchomp? Probably not. Maybe we get a crit. Is that a crit on the Chomp? It was a crit on the Chomp. So that's some big damage. That is some big damage. The rain does stop. So we're sitting in a solid position. A really solid position here. Um, I could go for a Gleam. I do think we eat up an Aqua Jet if he goes for it. So I'm just gonna go for a Gleam. And... Oh, this is kind of tough. Do we burn somebody? Or do I just start targeting down that Garchomp? Hmm. What is my play here? I should could protect. He is definitely going for an Aqua Jet. I'm just going to get after this Garchomp. I'm just going to get after this Garchomp. If he goes for the Aqua Jet, that's fine. Yeah, there's the Aqua Jet. Oh, into my Arcanine. I'm with that all day. I'm with that all day. Togekiss is going to use Crunch. Or no, you're going to use Crunch. Oh my god, he doesn't take out my Togekiss. Does he, he probably thinks I'm protecting. I'm loving it all day. That's a huge turn for us. Wild Berry gonna poke, and that pretty much solidifies the battle. Name. Him not going after my tokens there. Gotta love it, dude. Gotta love it. This guy brought four, right? I think he brought four Pokemon. I hope so. I didn't check again. Flamethrower's gonna come out here. Doesn't get the kill. And Gleam's gonna come out here and pick up the double kill. Does not kill Zumrel. We do not get that crit on the Zumrel, right? We take out the Chomp, though. We take out the Chomp. And, yo, know, I love where we're sitting. I love where we're sitting. Because we can eat up, an, I think, another Aqua Jet or Arcanine. And then we have a rain combo in the back without the Storm Drain Kaleo in the field. So I'm loving it, yo. I'm loving it. Let's go here, and I'm just going to Snarl. I'm just going to Snarl just to uh, lower the thing's special attack. Doomrail's going to go for the Aqua Jet, probably in Tokus, right? Yeah. Into the Togi. And I think Arcanine does outspeed, so we can at least get off the Snarl. He's just sitting in a great spot. He's going to Volt Switch. Can we soak that? All day, baby. All day, yo. Arky with the soap. Gotta love Arcanine. This thing's obviously just going to come out here with a... Uh, with a what's it called and Kaomi, an Aqua Jet. So what should I do here? I'm just going to Politoed here. I think we go into Politoed and we just protect. I think we just go into Politoed and protect because we know the Aqua Jet's gonna come through here and he's gonna try to Volt Switch out on my Politoed. So then from here we can honestly just go into uh, a protect, let Arcanine drop out, get our Switch from Kingdra in here, and just pose a threat all across the board. So that's gonna be my play. We're gonna protect here and. I guess we'll go for a shot here with my boy. We'll go for a shot here with my boy Arcanine. And we'll see how this one plays. But like I said, I think Aqua Jet's coming through here. It's going to pick up the KO and he's going to try to Volt Switch across. Yep, there's Aqua Jet. Bang, later Arcanine. That's fine. All part of the Jean's plan, baby. All part of the plan. Right, Carp? Yeah, Carp said, yeah, that's part of the plan. And then here comes the Volt Switch. Yep, there it is. Let's bring out our Kingdra here. Now we can just Hydro Pump onto Rotom. We have speed. Um, and then pretty much just like throw a Scald into Zumra and finish this one off. Right? Yeah, yo, that sounded good. Burn's not doing anything to us, but it did take away our Mystic Water, which I do not like. Which I do not like. We're gonna go here. We gotta hope this Hydro Pump connects. Because, you know, Hydro Pump kind of low accuracy. Hydro Pump comes through, and it does connect. Rotom, get on out my face. 
We don't want you here, dude. You're dead. There's no way you're surviving that. Get on out of here. Beautiful. Back end plan worked perfectly. And we got ourselves a second win, which is awesome. Especially because we didn't use the Trick em Squad. So we got to show off the first battle, Trick em Squad. Second battle, the other half of the team, which is the Rain Squad. Now we can hop to our third and pretty much do whatever we want. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's safe to say we're grabbing ourselves a perfect record here. We're going up against a full-out electric team with Torterra. And we have Rhyperior, who's ground-type, alongside with Lightning. Like, come on, yo. This has got to be a perfect record. We're leading the Rhyperior. We're leading the Bronze on. This guy's got Puzzle. He's got Minus. He also has the Minetric, Ampharos, Electivire. And then last but not least, he has the Torterra. So Torterra is a little bit of a threat, but I think we're fine, yo. Going in the right period, Bronze Knot, we should just be able to set up Trick Room and just pretty much sweep out. I wish we did have EQ. Like, this is a situation where I wish we did have EQ because I think I built this team a little bit wrong. I think EQ would have been better on right period considering we have Levitate with the Bronze Knot and we have Tokus who was also flying there, so we can't get hit by EQ. But I'm going to bring in the Tokus and Arcanine in the back end. I just think it works really well. We can struggle up on a lot of these guys and we kind of get after it that way. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Let's lock this one in here and let's, let's look to grab ourselves a perfect record. But yo, like I said, this should be pretty easy. This should be a guaranteed perfect record. Honestly, this team probably has a few tricks up its sleeve. I'm not going to lie. It, usually the teams that look easier are the toughest ones. So we'll see. We shall see. I wonder who he's going to lead. Because if it's electric Pokemon, I might not even have to protect my Rhyperior. It's going to be these two. That's kind of sc not scary, but like I can just drill run, right? I'm not going to lie. I think Puzzle learns Grass Knot. Right? Does it learn Grass Knot? That could be scary. He could learn Grass Knot. So you know what? I'm going to do this. And I am just going to protect. Or not protect. I'm just going to trick her. I protect my right here because I have a feeling. I'm pretty sure that, that thing learns Grass Knot. As much as I just want to go into a drill run, if that thing does learn Grass Knot, that's scary. Let's see what happens here. He's going to protect you. That's awesome. That's great. You can protect your Pokemon all day. Protection come out from my right here. We loving it. We loving it. And this thing's going to go for a discharge. That's fine. That's fine. Lightning Rod is not going to trigger here because, you know, we protect it. And it is going to discharge onto you, but we should be thriving here. Bronzong soaks it up all day. And Trick Room is poking. So now we have a speed. Now we have a speed. And I think just doubling down into that uh that puzzle is going to be the play here. Does he have any flying Pokemon? Did he have Zapdos? I can't check his Pokemon. Hold up. It was Ampharos, Electivire, Puzzle Minus, Manetric. Okay, to a So no flying Pokemon. Drill Run could just come in hot. No wrong coming high, and I am going to double down into this puzzle just in case it is Focus Ash. Just in case it is Focus Ash. He is going to withdraw the. Withdraw the That's a great turn. Torterra going to come out here? Or who's going to come out here? Torterra is going to come out here. We're not even targeting this thing down. Gyro Ball is going to poke. And I double down into it just in case he sashed. Just in case this lovely little mon sashed. Drill Run's going to poke. I'm going to try to put that Torterra to sleep. So I'm going to say bye bye to plus. The Trick Room's fully in effect. I think both my Pokemon are slower than his. I really do like where we're sitting, so I am going to try to put uh, Torterra to sleep, and I might protect this turn. It really depends who he goes into. He could have Giga Drain, and Giga Drain can do some. Ampharos is going to poke here, and I might just drill on that. What do I say protect? I'm kind of going to say he's going to protect. I'm going to double down. Actually, no. We're just going to put you to sleep. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. I'm gonna, I am going to go for my drill run, and I'm going to go for this Hypnosis. Torterra, go to sleep. Come on, we gotta land this. We gotta land this, yo. Come on, baby. Hypnosis, get on the board here. Get on the board for battle number three. I would love to see it. This could be huge. This is pretty much solidifying the battle if Hypnosis just lands. That's all we need. That's all we need is this accuracy to land. We got Bronze on here. He plays no games. You know, he told me earlier, he's like, yo, dude, Jeans, I will not miss Hypnosis. I said, yo, you promise? He's like, I promise, Jeans. And that's when I brought him in team. That's when I recruited him for the squad. When he promised me he would not miss Hypnosis. See, yo, he plays no games. This dude does not lie. He does not lie. Bronzong gets to sleep. That's wonderful. I'm guessing this thing's not lumberied, right? Yeah. And then Joel Run's going to poke here. He does not protect Ampharos. So great call by us. And we are just rolling out here in the third and final battle. Like I said, yo, should be a pretty easy battle for us. Two are tired of sleep. He's going to have to bring back out Manetric. And this this is, just seems like it's going to be a sweep. He's slumped. Turtle slump. Tree turtle slumped. You know, right here, ripping. He ripping. He played no games. He's playing no games. He's going to have to bring out Manetric Ray for his fourth and final. And I can just, again, drill run into him. He could protect. So I could Fire Fang. He could go for a Discharge. That's not going to affect me. So, you know, I'm just going to go here. I am just going to Gyro Ball. I'm going to double down into Tower here. Because Manetric could protect. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo, get him out of here, dude. Get him out of here, yo. We double down into Tower. This dude's probably like, oh, yo, just good. This guy's hacking. This guy's hacking. 
A coverage move's coming in clutch. Fire fan coming in. Getting off some big damage. That's some big damage. That's some big damage. Now I can just freely drill run into Manetric. And this thing does eat up its berry, but we're thriving here. We are indeed thriving. I think we have one more turn left in Trick Room, which he cannot protect. Oh, he wakes up. You son of a biscuit. Woodhammer coming in hot. Can we eat that? We do not. You son of a biscuit. Quick naps for him. Quick naps for him. That's a little whack. That's a little whack. He is going to take some nice damage there. And we have one more turn left in Trick Room. Could go into you. But I am going to go into you. Just so I can start snarling. I could actually flamethrower and take out him. Or I could protect. Because, you know, EQ could, go, could come in hot. Actually, he's probably not going to EQ. There's no shot that he EQs here. Considering I'm Levitate. And he is Intimidate 1 now. And he will take out Manetric if he does go into EQ. But I think just going into, like, a flamethrower here. Alongside with maybe a gyro ball, or I could hypnosis. Hmm. Let's do this. Let's, let's put you to sleep, yo. Ron sound has been promising. He said, yo, dude, I told you. No miss hypnosis. He's playing no games here. He's playing no games here. And I'm surprised that thing woke up. I'm honestly a little upset. Bronzong. Yo, what you mean, Bronzong? Get out of my face. And this thing's gonna set a terrain. Hey! This thing's setting a terrain. Okay. I'm digging it. I'm digging it, but you're dead. <laughs> but you're dead. He sets the grassy train. You're gone. Get out of my face. Now we're sitting here in a, such a good position. Such a good position. 3v1 action. My peer down for the count. I'm kind of upset with that. He both can come through here, and we soaked that up all day. We soaked that up all day. But, yo, Bronzong really missing his hypnosis. It's all good. Yo, we landed one earlier, and that was really the only one that I needed from him. Grass train's going to give us all HP. They're actually doing... You're actually helping, helping me out. They're actually helping me out here. Uh, Trick Room's gonna end, and I'm kind of fine with that. Let's play. I'm just gonna rock into Snarls. I'm just gonna start trying to get off damage to this Pokemon. No need to try to put him to sleep. Let's just keep going after him. Thunderbolts can come out here. Arcanine should be able to soak. Or that goes after Bronzong. Bronzong soaks anyway. Arcanine's paralyzed. Of course he's paralyzed, yo. Of course he's paralyzed. And Gyro Ball's gonna poke. Uh, I just need to get off his nice little Snarl onto this. I probably should have Trick Room. I probably should have Trick Room there. But we're just gonna go for Snarls just so my uh my lovely lady Togekiss can soak up a shot. We're gonna go here. I could protect you, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. And waste a turn. I'm just gonna waste a turn because you're obviously going for bronze. You're obviously 1000 percent going for bronze. I'm not stupid. Oh, he goes for discharge. That was smart. That was smart! I'll give it to him. <laughs> he goes for discharge. Hey, Arky, you should be able to soak. Yeah, all day. Love you, Arcanine. Snarl's gonna come out here. Dope, dope, dope. Dope, dope, dope. And we're pretty much just playing this one slow just to solidify this victory. We don't want to make any stupid moves where his Manetric just comes back and swings us. But Grand Strike giving him some HP. Give me some HP as well. And we should be able to soak. So now I should just go into, or be able to go into another Snarl. Or, you know, I'm just going to go for a Flamethrower alongside with this uh, Gyro Ball. Alongside with Gyro Ball. Get out my face, dude. Get out my face. Discharge going to come in here. Arcanine eats up again. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then, you know, we are just going to go into this Flamethrower. And we still have our... I totally forgot, yo. Our Guav Berry coming to clutch. He's probably like, yeah, dude, I almost have this Arcanine dead. We're like, nah, yo, let's eat this whole berry. Whole berry comes out here. Flamethrower comes out. And this might be able to finish it off, right? Let's see. Yes, sir. Lightweight Minetric goes down there. And we grab ourselves an amazing perfect record with an amazing Rhyperior trick. Room team. The Magic Carp luck strikes again. Another perfect record with this carp on our lap. This Pokemon is just awesome. He's bringing me a lot of luck. But yo, dude, this team was phenomenal. I absolutely love it. The Trick Room combo with Rhyperior and Bronzon is unstoppable. Once you get it set up, we showcase that in battle number one and battle number three. And then you also have that rain combo in the back end, which is just great all around. We show that off in battle number two and just dominate it and showed off every single Pokemon on this team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Also, guys, let me know in the comment section down below other Pokemon you guys like for me to showcase in BDSP Double Battles. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.